Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here. Bring you guys another episode of the NHL 14 Be a GM Mode Commentaries of the Year New York Islanders. That is right guys. So, uh, we ended up 22 in for a pretty good start to the season. Not going to lie, man. Uh, that's pretty respectable. Uh, we're up against the New York Rangers here. 18, 14, and 2. Um, I asked a bunch of you guys, uh, should we make some trades? We have some, like I really put it to you guys in the last episode, was uh, should we trade Varlamov? Because I don't see the purpose he's serving right now because uh, since I've automated goalie rotations off, I don't really need that good of a backup goalie and I don't think he's, no, he hasn't even got a game in, I don't think, so I mean... Uh, it's pretty frustrating. I did. I don't even know why I picked him up in the first place. But uh, see, we we have Smith down here. We have a bunch of goaltenders, right? And I think Smith can definitely replace him very easily at a much cheaper rate too. So I mean, uh, it's uh, kind of a no-brainer to do so. And then we can uh, play Kevin Poulin and Oscar Dance. This guy's probably gonna turn out to be our starter of the future. So um, I really want to keep my eye on him. Uh, but the thing is, who do we trade for? And I did scout a bit. Um, I was thinking. Sean Monaghan because our forward prospects aren't the greatest. I'd like to really improve upon that. Um, let's see her take a look at our defense really quickly. Uh, HL. Uh, see, see, yeah, we got uh, Donovan, Reinhardt, uh, Ness, D'Angelo, straight hill. Doesn't really matter with the bomb six there. Uh, but forwards were not that good. As you can see, we have Reinhardt, which is good. Phillips is good. Ernie's good. But it kind of drops off from there. Arcabello is probably not going to get too much better. We have DeHaan as a defenseman playing on the wing. I really wanted to uh, get him some points. He could turn it to be something good. Uh, Dansk, obviously. So the goaltending's fine. I just think we could add maybe like a sniper or something like that uh, for the AHL. I mean, we do have Alex Sonia, which is not bad whatsoever. Uh, I've seen him turn out to be pretty decent, uh, but I'd like to get another sniper either for that second line or that first line. So, I don't know if Anders Lee is working out so well. I'd rather play him on the third line and then move Lippin down to the fourth and scratch one of these guys. So... I definitely want to make a trade for that, and I want to get another center, because um, Sean Monaghan's going to be pretty damn sick, if I don't say so myself. So, uh, Sam Reinhardt, yeah, we could put him on the wing, and then Monaghan in the middle, then we can get a sniper, yeah, that'd be a pretty good idea. So, I did look, they have similar trade values, but yeah, guys, we will get some simulation done in this video, don't worry. I just want to clean up the team a bit, because we're going to be a little close to the cap, and I'd like to uh, free up some space. See, yeah, Dansk is going to be a beast soon, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so, Semyon Varlamov, let's go over to Calgary. Um, I also looked at Radic Faxa, uh, it's, he's another uh, center that's very similar to... Um, uh, Sean Monahan. Uh, just to take a look at him, you know, he's 66 overall, 21 years old, 1.3 million for two years, but we're going to be playing them in the AHL, obviously, they're not going to make a spot, um, on the, uh, NHL team, so we don't have to worry about that, uh, but, um, See Calgary, see Calgary wants uh, Varlamov, right? So, uh, and Monahan's already at 68 overall, so I can definitely deal with that cap hit if we're getting rid of Varlamov, so... We could do that just one for one, but I have a feeling that won't go through. Uh, so, I don't know really what I want to throw in here. I don't want to throw in a pick or anything. Uh, we could try that straight up. If not, we'll throw in a couple extra things. It's not going to hurt. So, Varlamov for Sean Monaghan straight up. The reason I want to get this guy is because Sezikis, I don't think we can afford him in a couple years. And Monaghan would be the perfect replacement. He, he'd be good on the third line. Uh, he could even turn to be a second line center. Who knows, right? So uh, if we have to trade Eller Sezikis, because I definitely know we're going to have to move uh, one of them eventually. And I think Monaghan's a good piece to bring in right now. So... Monaghan for Varlamov straight up. Let's give it a try. Will it go through? Uh, no, it doesn't. So the table is too far off. Figured that, you know, it was worth a shot. But, uh, yeah, we could throw in Van Horn. That wouldn't be bad. Van Horn. And then we can give him, like, a... We can give him a f two fists. Let's do that. Two fists. Um, a Van Horn and Varlamov for Sean Man Monaghan. Will that go through? Nah, it didn't go through. Okay, so two fists. How about a, how about four? So let's, we'll change the fifth to fourth, uh, fourth round, and then we'll just take off the fifth. Two fours. Well, that will go through just a touch. All right, so we'll throw in a. Uh, we'll go down here. We'll throw in a sixth round pick. All right, this should go through. All right, let's see. Oh, just a bit low. Okay, we'll go to the fifth. Why not? 
Really? <laughs> you want the f those force? Oh my goodness, three force doesn't matter. It goes through. Jesus Christ, Calgary, you're a little bit picky. So we believe this transaction transaction will contribute to our success here in Calgary. We are accepting your trade offer. So I think it's a pretty good trade offer. Barlamov, it wasn't anything special, honestly. His cap hit was a little too much, and we really didn't need him. I don't know why I picked him up, to be honest, but. Eddie Lack turned out to be a stud, so I think that's why I traded for him in the first place is because we weren't sure about Eddie Lack, uh, but that is done. And I also want to make another trade. Uh, we'll get through the simulation, you guys. Don't worry. Uh, just trying to clean up the team. And yeah, we got Aaron Eckblad coming up. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. Um... We could do, oh, who was it? I was looking at us. I think it was a two-way I'm not quite sure, but, okay, that's it. Yeah, Kucherov. I was going for Kucherov. Uh, he's all the way down here. Very low trade value. This guy turns out to be a beast in uh, simulation. Oh, he's a playmaker. My bad. He's got really good individual stats now, but this is a player I really want to pick up. I mean, four and a half red stars. Don't worry about that. The same thing with Adam Ernie. They really good, develop well, so, um... I'm thinking of giving up Chris Kelly because uh, we he doesn't have room on our team. We might as well free up the salary cap if we can. Uh, we could trade away. Um, I don't want to give away any picks if I don't have to. Yeah, I really want to keep on a Sunstrom. He could turn it to be something decent. Uh, 21 points. Yeah, he's got pretty good individual stats. He could turn it to be a fourth liner. So I uh, wouldn't mind holding on to Sunstrom. Uh, we could throw in a, uh, let's see if they want a second. Yeah, we can throw in a second. Second Kelly, and then, like, we could go six. Uh, throw in another six. And we'll throw in another six. We don't use our sixes. Let's see if that will go through for Kucherov. Will it go through? Yes, it does. So there's not too much to deliver about on this. Y'all think the Tampa Bay... No, I don't know about that one. I mean, Kelly's going to be retiring soon. Uh, we just trade a bunch of picks for a guaranteed four and a half star prospect. I think that was pretty good. So I don't know if Tampa Bay knows what they're doing there. So uh, I'll do that later. Uh, is there any other trades I want to make? And uh, trade Hickey. That's another thing. I wanted to trade uh, Hickey. He doesn't have a uh, place on our uh, team anymore. Uh, do, I am sorry for the trades, guys. Just really want to clean up the team so we can get going here. I'll get two or three months of simulation done so uh, to make up for it. And, uh, yeah, he just doesn't have a place. He's got a pretty good cap hit. I'm not going to lie. And he's got a pretty good trade value. So, Hmm, who do I want to trade? I think I want to trade for, um, let's see, what team, a lot of teams want him, yeah, he's a pretty good player, um, we could go after a first, uh, Cabo Carolina, oh, that's way too much, um, yeah, we got the Rangers first, uh, how about, um, hmm, let's go to, have a quick glance here, Montreal, holy, that's really high, um, Hmm, that's a team that usually doesn't do good, but we can get it for... Ottawa doesn't do that well. I mean, we could get a first there. Um, yeah, Ottawa doesn't do well in simulation. I don't know why that is. Uh, they do have some peace. Yeah. Um, no, not here, Carlson. Uh, get out of here, Carlson. What are you doing, son? All right, so, uh, San Jose, or Tampa. Usually Tampa doesn't do well, surprisingly, anyway. Uh, yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind trading... Yeah, we could get a first. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we could get two firsts even, honestly. Two firsts, and we could throw in something else for sure. Um, no, I don't want to trade any of these guys. These guys are a part of my team. We could throw in our first, honestly, because it's not going to turn to be anything, right? So, how about Hickey, our first, for their two firsts? Will that go through? I'm not quite sure, but uh, we can give it a try. Or we can throw in, like, seconds or whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. I think that will go through as is. So, Hickey and a first for Ottawa's uh, two firsts. Or, uh, let's try it without the first. I don't know. That's a, that's a little steep. Let's go a second and... Uh, let's go a second, a fifth, a f and a fifth. Let's see if that will go through. No. Uh, pa what? Oh, okay, Patrick Weirk. Oh, damn. Something to do. Yeah, we'd have to overextend. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um... I'll make, you know what, I'll cut it here, guys. I'm not going to bury you with any more trades. I'll cut it here, and I'll be back with you guys once I've done the trade. All right, bo all right, boys, we're ready to go now, so let's get some simulating done. Holy man, so we got a lot of trades done. Looking to, oh, Brand Lee, uh, no, we're fine, we're fine. We're good there. Um, 
But yeah, we had to make some a little uh, moves there. Got some draft picks. We got some younger players in the system. Uh, five through one there, nice. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. We actually got a lot of. We actually have a really, really good um, HL team. We got Reiner coming. Up. We have Ekblad. We have. Um, What's his name? Uh, Zach Phillips. We got a bunch of players. We got Adam Ernie. We got all spots covered. We got Kucherov. We got a lot of good players down there. And we have for the goaltending too, Oscar Dance. So the future is looking bright here in Long Island. So, and uh, yeah, it keeps on going, man. Holy, we're just tearing it up. 7-4 win over the Vancouver Canucks. Um, and Chicago, man, 12-18. and 18. They really don't do well in simulation. I don't understand why. <laughs> and right when I say that, we lose. But um, usually they don't do good. Same thing with the Penguins, and right, like what right when I said it too, we lost. But um, usually they don't do good. I don't know why that is. Uh, pff, it really beats me. I can kind of see why the Penguins is defense, but Chicago, I really don't know simulation problems. But uh, come on, bounce back with a win. Oh my God, five two. Jesus Christ, boys, come on, bounce back against Colorado. Come on, it's gonna be tough, but we can do it. Five two. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Come on, we gotta get a nice string here. I wanna get two more wins in a row. Come on, 22, 16, 3, not bad. Come on, 5, 3, there we go. Oh, hell no. Mark Frazier, get out of here. Tim, no, no, hell no. <laughs> two leaves I'll never have back, okay? Oh my goodness, Tim Connolly and Mark Fraser, the pylon. Jesus. But uh, come, on, come on, boys. Let's just string together a nice uh, nice little win streak here. We're up against some pretty good opponents. I mean, can we beat Columbus? And we did there, so that's good. Uh, this should be a must win. We got Florida. Come on, boys. 29 wins. Can we do it? Can we do it? There we go. 3-2 win. Looking nice. 30, 11, 15, and 5, basically. So a really, really good record. Uh, let's see. Let's do the scouts. Since we got some draft picks, I want to... Uh, Make sure my scout's on point this year. So we'll go forwards and for the dub for six weeks. And we will do some more simulation. So we'll, you know, we'll get up to the trade deadline. I think that was two months. Uh, if not, we can do a bit more. And, uh, yeah, see where we can go from there. Take a look if we have to make any changes. Who's producing, not producing. And uh, we'll have a look from there and just judge what we should do and Eddie Lack's doing pretty damn well as well um, if that's even a proper sentence great uh, sentence structure for the win oh my god it's just so late um, but whatever let's go here boys come on okay no all star game let's just get right to it let's go here come on Let's get Tavares to 30 goals. I want to get. I want to see Tavares just having an unreal season. I mean, he very well should. We're scoring a lot of goals. And <laughs> I keep jinxing myself, man. It's just I just shut my mouth during these commentaries. Just let it roll. And yeah, you see, like fuck, three one. Come on, man. I swear, oh, it's mind boggling. I hate one of the simulations like this. And we're up against some pretty good opponents, man. This is insane. Come on, we gotta get back with a win here. Come on, there we go. Three two win over the Ottawa Senators. We gotta beat the Oilers here. Must win. There we go. Three nothing. Very nicely done. All right. So it looks like things are going pretty damn well. Uh, Thirty-two, thirteen, five. Pretty sweet. Um, see. Okay. So San Jose, San Jose is doing pretty well. Uh, let's see what we, if we can beat him here in four three. Very nice. Uh, no, we'll uh, say no there. Just want to see if there's any potential players that are worth taking. No, there isn't. So uh, we will pass there. Uh, can we beat the Ducks? Ah, oh, one nothing. You know, and when we when we lose, we're losing by like one goal games, two goal games. I'm I'm kind of fine with that. You know, I obviously like to our offense to chip in, but it's not the end of it's not like a blowout. So it's just I, I just want to build around defense, but you know, also have that scoring here and there. I just really preach the defense. I want to have a good defensive team and see stuff like that. Hold, hold these teams to one goal games and you know just win the two one games. You know what I'm saying? So. It looks like we're doing pretty well. I'd like to get to 40 wins by the end of this video. That'd be awesome to see if we can do that. And 2-1 game there. Very nicely done. Another two points. So uh, we're doing very well. Holy, man. Uh, on a really good stretch here. one nothing game there over uh, the Devils. Uh, Matt Barkowski. Uh, no, hell no. Uh, get out of here. Okay. And uh, let's see if we can beat the Capitals once again. Uh, looks like they're pretty good. 3 nothing. Yeah, holy shit, man. We're doing very well. Okay, so 
Looks like Tavares is going to be a 30 goal scorer, as he should be. Uh, just so We'll take a look at the points and all of that right after. And the nice 6 2 win over there uh, at uh, Florida, I think. Was that Florida? I'm not quite sure. I think that was Florida. I wasn't really paying attention. I got a quick little glance. 3 2. Not the end of the world. We had a really good stretch there, and uh, we still have a couple more games in hand. So, and that the first round pick from the Rangers is actually going to be quite nice. It could be like a top five or top ten, and another win. So it's getting even better. So uh, Tavares is plus thirty, man. Wow, he's having a hell of a year. So come on, can we get to forty? Let's get to forty before the trade deadline. Let's see if we can do it. Eh, four three. God damn. Um, so we'll go forward. Uh, just, uh, top 10 right there. Yeah, we'll go, uh, you know, I'll go a month in Russia. I don't know if they're going to turn out to be anything. Uh, I want to get to 40 wins, so we'll get to 40, all right? Okay, let's see. I want to see where, um, oh, I was going to trade for, uh, Nashville's first, too. I, that would have been a smart idea. Let's see where, uh, the, um, uh, the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Lightning are. Okay, so... 71 points. Yeah, they're doing pretty well, actually. So, uh, we'll take a look at the stats, guys. We'll call an episode here. Uh, just see who's doing what in the AHL and the AHL. I'll let you guys... I'll leave it up to you guys what we should do for line changes and all that, so you guys can leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll definitely keep into consideration. I'm reading all the comments, so don't worry. And wow, man, Tavares is having one hell of a year. 67 points in 61 games, so he, our captain is definitely pulling his weight. God damn, man. Patrick Kane over a point game player. 63 points, so that Patrick Kane Tavares combo is working very well for us, so that's good, man. That uh, is very nice. So, uh, Yakupov with 54 points, very nicely on that second line. Uh, Kreider doing pretty well, you know, I was expecting a bit more. Um, Landeskog, man, holy, he's trailed off a bit. Oh, yikes, uh, that's not good. Maybe we should switch it up a bit, maybe pair him with uh, uh, Yakupov or something. I'm not quite sure. So, we sh should we switch uh, Kreider and um. And Landis Cog around, let me know in the comments. Uh, Eller's not doing the greatest for the second line. He's not doing horrible, but I'd like to see a little bit more from him. I know he's a little more capable of that than that. Uh, Morgan Riley, 33 points. That's very well. Um, that's very nice, actually. So uh, that's good to see. Uh, Oliver Ekman Larson with 27. Myers with 24. So our defense are scoring. That's good. Uh, Dwight King with 19, which is pretty damn solid for the third line. Uh, so that's good. Uh, Sezikis with 17. Jeez, he's trailed off a bit. So uh, maybe put him on the power play or something like that. Uh, Alston with 16. Brock Nelson 14. Um, Astro with 11. So our fourth line's doing well. Coyle with 11. So uh, he's, he hasn't really done anything. He hasn't scored any goals. Oh, God. Uh, he's not looking to be anything special. Hopefully that turns around. And Maddie Martz with 10. And let's take a look at the goalies. Uh, yeah, Eddie Lack is playing phenomenal. So 2.25. Uh, 92.3 save percentage. Uh, we haven't played our backup, so that's the reason why I traded Varlamov in the first place. So, uh, yeah, so that's not bad. Uh, do, 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 take a look at the HL team, what they're doing points wise. Let's have a look. And Kucherov, 50 points. Wow, this guy's uh, this guy's already gonna beat his um. His past records, that's good to see. Uh, Adam Ernie, 49. Phillips with 42. Dahan with 41. Sonier with 36. Monaghan with 36, is that good? Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty solid. Uh, 36 points there, that's all right. We have him on the penalty kill too. So uh, Matt Donovan with 35, which is pretty uh, good. Reinhardt would like him to do a bit better. I don't know what's going on with Reinhardt. So uh, we'll have to check up on Reinhardt, see what's going on there. Uh, Lippin, uh, Griff, yeah, the Reinhardts, they're not doing so well. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to see about that one, but uh, goalies, take a look here. Oscar Dance is playing out of his mind. Kevin Poole and Jesus, man. Uh, but yeah, Oscar Dance is playing very well. So that's good. Our AHL, our NHL teams are doing very well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if I should make any line changes or anything like that. Landis Scott, Kreider, I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. So once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more NHL 14 GM mode commentaries. As right, guys. Peace. All this attention got me hype, cut the lights Baby, this ain't only for the night Baby, this is life, uh This is where I'm taking flight and never touching down Said it, now they know I meant it When I say we run the town